turn into the future using an advanced map. If you want to keep it simple, just draw it simple. You're looking for price to get above here, another behavior, okay? Does that make sense? So trying to keep things simple for a lot of people um, just is, 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 is the telling of the story of the future on what energies you're looking to clear before you start making new new decisions. I wouldn't, I, again, I would feel comfortable taking price profits around the 54 cents and then letting somebody, and, and getting out of some of my XRP position and then letting somebody else take the risk and buy it to, to clear above 64 or around these lines, these two. Yeah, I don't mind letting someone else take that risk to break out. Let them be the breakout trader. I got out and, and traded. I'm gonna, if I see the breakout and I see the proper structure, I'm gonna buy again. But I'm not guaranteed because price could hit these upper lines and come down. And even right now, we have to clear. Okay, so that's the advanced areas of XRP. Uh, that's an in-depth dive. And that's kind of sometimes why we call this class dive because sometimes we need to dive deep into the more uh, powerful uh, move uh, things. All right, Ether. Uh, either. Okay, team, as a quick review, uh, I'm just letting you uh, see one of uh, my clips from my private dive videos. I post many videos uh, throughout the week because we have a private dive membership, which is uh, access to a private dive live stream where you can find all the season episodes for season three of JSONG Presents. Uh, we post videos and request many cryptos, Bitcoin, USDT, USDD, Adam, Volt, uh, Casper, Shiba, Luna, really whatever you want uh, to request, we'll post it as well as we post the dive image notes at the end of every single class. So you can uh, scrub through the different uh, charts and get the screenshots and how to replicate my charts if you guys want to see that. Uh, throughout the month, we also have many beginning tutorial uh, classes as well as a little bit more advanced explanations. And then sometimes people just need to uh, understand the maps. We also have a small biblical message uh, almost at the end of every single one of our groups, you can see that we have a small uh, a reading of uh, daily reading of the Word of God. Uh, I have really enjoy creating price maps for everyone, and uh, we send out the links via Zoom, so you guys are able to uh, join our call and join our group, um, as well as get access to lots of my content. Uh, these uh, I I don't post all my videos on YouTube. Uh, people really want a lot of updates for the cryptocurrencies, but the truth is I'm here for you guys uh, Monday through Saturday. Uh, we don't have any dives on Friday, uh, Eastern Standard Time, uh, but I'm here for you guys all throughout the week. Uh, you guys can have access to uh, any of my maps that you guys want to or get my eyes on a lot of your trades. As we're looking at XRP, a lot of people uh, who've been uh, in dive class, you guys have been following these charts. They happen in slow motion for us, but you know we uh, we can track a lot of the buying that came in at these levels along the sword cut, as you guys saw uh, from a previous clip. I really like the structure. On this pr uh, price of XRP, we're having round structure down into the sword cut area, but we're also having round structure up. And this is the same symbol that I draw all the time. It looks like this, okay? So if you, uh, if you see this symbol, uh, this is the standard symbol I draw uh, all the time. And when you see that, that's very positive. That's very, very bullish. That's one of the best you can get. Uh, however, we do have to keep in, uh, in mind many of the resistance areas. And, and this is uh, one such area that we've had for a long time. This is a thunder cut uh, based on a lot of the energy that was going on uh, back here that can slow prices down. And so anyway, I believe that this is going to be an area where prices can get slowed down. Uh, and you guys have this on your charts if you guys are a member. Uh, but the price is 5476. We have not, I haven't changed this number in months. So you guys all know uh, this is an area where we want to naturally take profits. I also shared you guys uh, some of the videos where we did a separate analysis. Uh, also learning that 54 cents, 52 cents is the resistance area, but I mentioned uh, that uh, in my video specifically 54 cents because the the video was also including uh, not including that video was not including this thundercut area here but i'm letting you guys know that this is an area where you should see resistance um everyone who has access to my charts have had these blocks for many many months as well as this number here um, and i really enjoy that structure now uh, if you wanted to take profits at this level you could take profits at this level for xrp you can also wait till you get the break above and take the trades up to these levels up here, which is the next behavior you need. So I'm going to bring this down here just to kind of show you uh, more or less what we're expecting. So uh, I'm going to give you the prices. If they happen today, those prices are going to be approximately 79 cents. 
So if you're getting closes above in structure, above in the 70, 79 cent area or 70, uh, 79 cent area, then look for prices to go a bit higher, okay? And then we can track our next uh, resistance levels and, uh, and then I'll be posting those. But right now, as it is, I'm still expecting lots of danger in the markets. And one of the things I told you guys, and I've been telling you guys many of this on a global scale, okay, not the intraday stuff, but, or the, you know, just the day to day, but I am expecting pump and dump action coming into some of the more dangerous times right before one of the great crashes. Um, I believe there is going to be a hack on Bitcoin, and I believe there's severe weaknesses in the market. Now, to reiterate with XRP, I'm waiting for structure to be built above these areas here, again around the, you know, the 70, uh, 79 cent area. If it happens today, it's up here. It's going to be around 79 cents. We need that structure. If time goes on, that number goes lower. You can see here the number going lower, and that's exactly uh, what what I'm expecting before being more bullish on XRP. Otherwise, we can come up to these areas, and I'm not going to be fooled. I really believe that we're going to be able to get some even lower XRP prices. There's even prophetic numbers that are telling us we may be able to even get close to six to seven cent XRP. Um, I can only tell you what I see in my map, but I also listen to many of the people in the prophetic community uh, and I line it up with what I see in my maps and, uh, and usually we have great success that way. Uh, so I'm looking for, again, resistance around these areas or a structure above and that will constitute a separate behavior for XRP. I get a lot of questions asked about Shiba, uh, about is Shiba strong, is Shiba bullish? There's a few main energy places that we're looking for, uh, for Shiba to come down to. Uh, at the time of August 20th, we had some supports up here as well as here, and yet I was expecting a bearish movement before we get to, to these areas down here, as well as a main resistance here closer to 20, uh, 2050 is what I'm really looking at is 20 2050 and I'll show you how we we updated that in Shiba there's a specific behavior we've been looking at uh, I've been looking at this area this is a parabolic uh, type of energy and I verified it so it is verified we can verify it with the roofs up there um, but the truth is I mean I was expecting structure to be built under here and then when we get that structure in here we can come down to these areas this is something we talk about often uh, in every time I'm asked about Shiba in my dive classes, uh, the structures underneath these prices zero 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 that's five zero nine nine would constitute some weakness uh, that could delay us a little bit. But for the most part, I'm looking to round into these areas and then have a buy up to zero zero uh, zero zero two fifty area. I'm looking for this to kind of round out or flatten out around these prices. Uh, we may come up to the 23 as well as the 25. These are four zeros, four zeros, two zero. So we're looking for some, uh, uh, you know, I think that would be very bullish and very good uh, for Shiba. Here's, Here's a, map. a map from today. Uh, sorry, the previous map was from September 3rd. This one's from September 23rd. And this is a map you can see that we did get our structure uh, that we wanted rounding structure exactly where it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be here. So when you see it, it's a sign of weakness. So therefore, we're waiting for prices to come down uh, more um, with more security, more safety, uh, more confidence. And you can see that we're coming down into the sword cut areas. We come, came almost all the way to the bottom area, 00, 0, 0, 9, 9. It's a very, very close to that number. You can see we got all the way to 10, uh, which is you know, right there. Wow. Uh, and then so now what I am expecting is as long as we can round in these areas, I would be expecting to move up to here. Uh, in the last few days, I did pick up a Shiba uh, days ago at those prices at the very lows. Uh, I was able to get uh, closer to the lower half of the Shiba and I was able to get a bag, another bag of my Shiba. Um, it, it is a more uh, uh, attractive option at the moment uh, when it comes to uh, between Shiba and Luna Classic. We also heard some prophetic words that the next moves uh, it, the next pumps in the markets would be Shiba moves rather than the Luna Classic moves. I think the Luna Classic is still going to, it needs to hit some of the more prophetic numbers. It's hitting numbers on our map. That's fine. But I want it to hit those prophetic numbers. You guys know what those numbers are. Um, so uh, I believe Shiba is going to do well. There's a trade up to here. If we break these areas and get structures here, possibly because of a burn, then we can do very well 
uh, prophetically on Sheba and possibly achieve some of those prophetic numbers. However, uh, if we do not uh, pump up to these areas in this season and we come down, then I'm expecting very low numbers for Shiva, possibly to hit some uh, around zero, zero. Uh, well, let's see, the bottom of these Thundercut areas, uh, maybe closer to 29, uh, and possibly closer to this uh, calculated number here, zero, 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 one. That's five zeros, three, five. That might be some of the numbers uh, that we can hear. This is an older prophetic number, but I have... Uh, supports in here. Um, so if we're building structures underneath the 9.9 nine down here, I'm looking for prices to go down before they go up. That would be in alignment with something maybe like a Bitcoin hack. So if there's any kind of Bitcoin hack, uh, you know, that a lot of people in many communities, in, including me, I'm expecting that to happen. I believe that's prophetic and it's going to happen. Um, I believe that a lot of the market's going to be taken down for a small, po uh, a small moment and you guys are going to be able to get it. Now, uh, but as it is, Shiba is looking bullish at the moment because this is where we should be going to buy. And I've been telling people, everybody's been wanting to buy up here. I said, I'm going to buy once we get down to the sword cut. Uh, there's a few transactions that I've been waiting to short them once they hit certain areas and a few transactions that I've been waiting to buy once we get into certain areas. Uh, I'm looking for a really good short on Ether, and I believe that one's going to be coming up as well. Uh, we well. Uh, we talk a, a little bit about that, but I'm just giving you guys a public uh, review of some of the some of the things that we we mentioned. I am looking for ether to hit along this track. Okay, I, I talk about these like they're a track because I'm waiting for prices to come into these areas. Um, if we can come into these areas and with nice rounding structure, I'm going to be looking to take a big short on ether uh, down to some prophetic numbers. And uh, but at the at the moment on the map, I have. Uh, you know, 840, I have 997 <clears throat> area around this track. Okay, they're a track. This is dynamic. I do not trade pr trade based on price alone. I trade based on the dynamics of prices. So uh, you can look at them like tracks because as price moves down, you know, as time goes on, the numbers sometimes go up if the angle is up. Uh, and, uh, you know, if it happens like right now, just say it happens right now, price shoots straight down, it hits this bottom line. Well, that number is closer to 585 rather than 622. So people will say, hey, you know, Jay Song, you said you were using that number. I trade based on lines, and that's why we meet together and dive. Dives are $18 a month for the whole month. You get, uh, we, we meet together uh, Monday through Saturday, uh, and I'm here for you to help build a price map, whatever price maps you guys want. Uh, if you guys are a member, you guys can request that. So I am expecting that, as well as some local action. I've been looking uh, a little bit of, uh, at hitting some of these higher targets uh, when it came to... Uh, Ether, some of you guys know we talked about that the other day. Right here at this moment is where I was expecting this very, very interesting to hit those uh, those numbers and come back down in the last few hours. But that's just like an intraday chart. I don't talk too much about intraday charts, um, just so you guys know. Regarding the great pump and dump, there is one cryptocurrency that we can use to gauge and really understand a lot of what's going on in the market. I talk uh, about this chart pretty often and I mention it publicly on YouTube from time to time. There's three major areas that I've been expecting for price to have major reactions from my previous videos. Um, both private and public, I mentioned this quite a bit. Uh, this is the track around this line uh, I, I kind of just gave you the number of 649, but it's this track. The other one is this track, 593, and also this one, 532. These are based on three major energy waves that I'm calculating throughout the market that need to show up. They are this wave here, this wave here, and this wave here. That gave me those three points. There is a backup wave closer to 4.98, but that would be very bullish for the cryptocurrency world. Now, this chart seems complicated in a lot of ways it is so i'm just going to let you know my take on it when this chart goes up cryptocurrencies go down when this chart goes down cryptocurrencies go up so the longer this chart is able to have moves down we will experience these times of bullishness in the market you'll see some markets do really good but when this uh, especially bitcoin uh, but when this chart is allowed to go up and it's sitting on structured support like this one. We're having rounding supports at these areas. You can see that the videos I posted about these um, before we even came to these areas. And now we came down, sat down once, went up, rounded down. That's even more bullish because now we're rounding. That's bullish for this chart. But if this chart goes up, then that means we're expecting bear moves in the market. A lot of cryptos become weak. 
and that's what we've been observing. However, there's going to be pockets where we're going to need to come back to challenge these lines. Both 5.93 uh, and 6.49 have already been challenged since I began to first talking about these. You can see that we came and challenged this line here. That's where we had our first move based on that wave. The next one is the 6.4 based on this wave. There's one last major one that's based on this wave, and I believe uh, because I've done a lot of uh, I've uh, I've done a lot of calculations for this, I believe we are going to be able to get possibly one more move. Now, this chart I believe is going to end up coming here first, and this is going to go to these areas. Once we hit these areas, there's only a little bit more bearish moves, and the slower it happens, the less effect it happens on the market. But when these happen quickly, it has a bigger effect on the market. But there's a little bit more room for this chart to go up. So we can have like a quick bear move, right? A quick bear move when this goes up. But then, once we hit a certain area, around 8.79 along this track, I'm expecting, and I'm letting you guys all know, I'm expecting some good round action at these level that can bring us into a big pump area for a short window of time. If price comes to here and you see this chart go straight down, you'll see Bitcoin hit a very high number. You'll see XRP hit a possibly high number. But I don't want you guys to think that this is going to be the moon moments for Bitcoin and XRP. I think that that these numbers would, would, would be profitable and lucrative. Absolutely, we can ride that up. But once we come down, and you see the markets pumping, because again, when this chart goes down, markets pump. When we come down to these areas, 5.32 on USDT.D, and if we stop right there, or even if we spike below, but yet stop right there, when we stop on these areas, okay, even if we spike down, when we stop on these areas, if especially if we round, this would be the greatest crash that will probably in history. This would be the most opportune time for a Bitcoin hack. Now, this could happen in a single day if you want, if you really wanted to. I don't think it's going to happen in a single day. I think we're going to come up to here on one day and then come down here on another day, or it's just going to take several weeks or several months. But I'm letting you guys know. I posted a video telling you guys about pump and dump, showing you that this chart should be going up. It's been going up. Now I'm letting you know where the next one is, okay? This one goes up bearish markets. We've had bearish markets for quite some time, okay? Now, this is uh, right here. This is August 15th where we came to these areas. Now, all this energy here, 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 all of that energy comes back into play along this line. Take this. Now, I hide my work. I don't talk about this one this particular tiger analysis because I give it to you guys in dive. Uh, I don't teach it how to do it, but in dive we do. Doing all the analysis and taking you guys step by step by step and zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. We keep looking at the bigger fish. The bigger fishes are telling us this area right here. So now let's combine it all together to what we learned. Let's go back down now to it. Uh, let me, uh, now, if we come to these areas, look for that action rounding approximately around 8.7. Now, I have the track, right? But it's going to be around those numbers if it happens now. If it happens later on, the number is going to be much higher. For example, if it happens in November 1st, you're talking 9.13. I'm just letting you guys know how that works. It's a higher track, okay? And those these screenshots will be posted today as well uh, on my website. I'm sorry, not today, but they'll be posted on my next dive on Saturday, which is going to be an all Patreon dive. Uh, so you can just join my Patreon uh, for as little as $1 and you guys get access to free charts as well as you can ask me for price maps. And we can uh, do our best on those days. Um, but I'm letting you guys know, um, this is what I'm looking for. This is what people in my community are looking for. I want you guys to just remember this happens very slow because this is a daily chart, right? Every single candle is just one day. So this stuff takes a while. But if you see it happen, you know where the great crash is about to happen. If you see that this chart comes here. Now again, we already had action on this one. We have action on this one. This is the next one. This is a backup down here. I'll give you those prices so you have them. 
but if we do this, then I'll expect us to go down, so I'll be expecting more bullishness. And it's like saying, is it safe to trade right now? When I see that we're safe to trade, I'm usually more happy. When I, I like when we we're, we're, haven't fulfilled these lines and we get to come down to them, because that means that I'm, it's more easy to buy stuff. But once we're at those lines, I'm more apt to kind of sit on my hands a little bit or take some possible shorts or look extra careful at the thing I'm considering buying because it needs to be strong. Otherwise, it fights against the market like a fish swimming upstream. Feel like you've got it all. Don't worry. Especially if this is your first time navigating, first time being on a ship, you guys are navigating through the, the waters. Um, I just want you to start seeing how price behaves and what things to expect. And I think everybody in this class, whether you know how to draw or not, you can at least listen to when I'm telling you what, I, what we're expecting as far as how price moves and flows. You may not know a lot of stuff, but you just but you can understand when I do this with my hands, right? You guys can understand that. You can understand when I'm doing this with my hands, and that's a great beginning. Okay. As we as we're analyzing price, we want to look local, but we also want to look more globally. What's happening on the bigger picture? And that's what I mean by local and global. Luna, uh, July eighth. We, we've been tracking Luna, you guys have been watching my videos, we've been tracking Luna, we saw weakness appear on these candles here, we're tracking these, but we're also expecting uh, Luna's bottom to be around also a sword cut. Um, the sword cut is where we're going to find some natural pain, natural support. Uh, over here in these prices are 0.00090. Now I'm going to give you the exact numbers today because we calculated it uh, as, as a bit of a range. Here we are on July 13th. Uh, you can see we phased through, we did not did not match, uh, we, we did not come up to our training line here. So of Luna, just so you guys know, right now we're currently trading right on that sword cut. The actual number uh, for the low is 0 .000086. What this means is that if you're getting... Finally, on my Luna Classic uh, charts, you guys know that I calculated this area uh, very, very accurately. Price came down to that area, tested once, two, three, four times, even tested this bottom right here of our key angle, and then responded to the phantoms really well, building structure, challenging these higher highs. So I hope you guys made a lot of money uh, coming down here um, since we first started talking about Luna. Now I'm expecting this area to act like support. So as long as I'm not getting closes below here or closes with structure especially, I'm not going to be taking the trade or exiting my trades of Luna until uh, we get down here. Now I did take profit up here in these areas. You guys know I told you guys along that line is when we were to take profit. Okay, so we took some profit down here. A lot of you guys made some money and walked away. I, I did buy back in into these areas right here. And then if you have not bought in Luna, you're looking for round structure at these prices. There's two sets of round structure that we're having right now. One is this one right here. This is a very big round structure exactly where it's supposed to be. It should be right here on this angle. The next is even locally, like on a daily chart, you can just, on this daily chart, you can even see that this is nice round structure. The problem is there is 11 hours and 49 minutes to go. So you need to stay in these areas. You can't go below 023. If you close below 023, uh, and you guys, then you guys already know that generally the line has been cracked, weaknesses enter the market. You may wanna take some profits, uh, secure some profits, and then just get back in when we're closer to 0001. That's three zeros and one. But as it is, uh, this is bullish. So people who are gonna buy at the low price of Luna, if you guys haven't bought Luna yet, and uh, Luna Classic, and you're like, where, where do I buy? I don't, I don't know, is this a good time or everything like that? Yes, this is a good time, this is a good price. It's a low point of the map. We're getting round structure, but we haven't closed. So you got 11 hours and 49 minutes. So if you want to wait, you know, until the time is up, uh, then then take the time and let let that candle close right on the line. If it closes directly on the line, the next bar should be an up bar, according to my principle of the hard close. It's what I call the hard close. Uh, so basically, we're looking for structures uh, that are round along here. And then once we get that round, uh, better structures if we start rounding slowly. If you round really slowly like that, that's very bullish. 
uh, on Luna and then I think we can hit some higher numbers but Luna is looking good and I want you guys to continue do, doing good we have uh, Christopher Harris's profit target up here once we start hitting prophetic numbers as well as other prophetic numbers up there that are much higher um, and at the moment because this is all of our key supports uh, here we will start entering into prophetic numbers once we start clearing some of these but at the moment uh, we're coming uh, we'll be able to calculate a new high uh, only once we started going up once we start going up then we'll be able to calculate a new high uh, for us for to, to see prices and the next profit targets on the next entries but I don't want you guys to miss some of these moves uh, if you haven't uh, if you guys don't already know the main two buy points are 00023 and then 00010 so for you guys who are Luna traders uh, you guys all have access to my map on my, uh, my maps for all Luna and you can just go right to my website and type in LUNC See, type in the names of the cryptos that you're uh, you're looking for. If you're looking for uh, XRP, type in XRP, Bitcoin, USDT.D, uh, index maps, the alt perp index maps. We did big tutorials about those those weeks. So people wanting to know what's happening with the altcoins. Uh, whatever whatever cryptos you guys are interested in, you guys bring me a lot. Gaming tokens, uh, you guys give me a lot. And it's fun. We take requests. Uh, when you guys show up, we write them down and then we go for it. Uh, so I love you guys and uh, I want you guys to do good uh, and I hope to see you if you guys are patreon members again You guys can join for as little as one dollar and uh, we have a free dive on Saturday at uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Our dive schedule for the rest of the month of September. It's 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Times on Saturdays uh, For you guys who want to show up tomorrow the website is patreon.com slash jsung underscore uh, seven you guys can show up if you guys want to the, again the minimum dive tier is $18 uh, But you can uh, get a few free dives a month uh, just by being a normal patreon I send them out publicly as well as if you guys are a dive and you miss the group class uh, You guys will get a copy of all the dive videos as well So if people who want all of my private videos, they don't want just uh, they don't want to wait just for my public videos you guys can uh, Get copies of those sent to your link on patreon So I send them out at the end of every class uh, as well as you guys can just scrub through the and look for the videos that that you have missed Again, you can type in all the, the maps and get the full videos and unlock all the content. It's just $18 flat. Um, that's not going to change for quite some time. So just letting you guys know. Everything in this video is not financial investment or trading advice of any kind. Everything is just for entertainment, educational, and comedic purposes only. Bear in mind that I eat red crayons for breakfast and so should you guys. They taste really good in your coffee. Um, just kidding. Uh, but uh, trading, uh, trading in the markets carries substantial risk. Please uh, avoid leverage trading during these high market uh, volatile positions, especially I'm not a financial advisor. All right. Uh, I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, let's cue the outro music. <laughs>